closing stages here. We're moving fast. So the last one. Oh, oh, this, is, you know, one. this is like finishing the third lap of the mile, right? Where a lot of guys are starting to break down. Someone here you need to really you know, get your form going. What? Someone Push through. We can do it now if you want it. Because we got that beer coming so down. So if you need help with that or you got that? I got it. Okay. So then, I thought we were going to do the oysters with Lamarle. We are. But we got, we're almost there. All right, so the chef's going to show us quickly how to shuck an oyster. Yeah, these are um, uh, Hog Island oysters from San Francisco. Um, you know, there's up shuckers and down shuckers. Some guys do it in the palm of their hand. Um, I've cut myself many times doing it that way. I mean, you can see some, some wounds there. But the idea is not to use brute force. Um, it's to just get under the, the back of the cup with a good oyster knife, get some height on it, and just run your knife along the top, get that abductor muscle. You can see the oyster is fully intact. A little bit there. You don't want any of the, the oyster on the top. And then you got to come back and you got to cut the abductor muscle off the bottom. So there's the abductor muscle off the bottom. And always check on the back, see if there's any shell crumblings in there. Check around the front, see what's there, and you're good. Do we know where your thumb has been? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's a Hog Island. I don't, you may be the only restaurant in the city that has Hog Islands on the list. Beautiful. It's like, it's literally like, reminds me of uh, swimming off in the Antarctic. That beautiful salty water. Am yep. I on the right side of the country? You're on the wrong side of the country, but I'm not going to argue. Okay, well, there's still <laughs> salt water over there too, right? <laughs> yeah. But we'll come back to those because it's perfect with the next beer. But this one is Curio, which is a, a very unique beer. It's made by Allagash. Um, it was actually an accident. They brewed a batch of triple. They didn't know where to put it, uh, but they had a lot of Jim Beam barrels. Oh. Yeah, right? So they, they put it in the Jim Beam barrels. It was the first I'd ever heard of a bourbon barrel aged triple. So it actually collects about two to three percent alcohol more from the bourbon barrels. Is that? You get all that coconut. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah. All that. Uh, and what do you what do you pair with this? I don't know. I'm the expert. What do you pair with that? I, no <laughs> I, just, I just want to drink it. Um, <laughs> but to be honest, you know what? We did do a dish with this once. We did scallops with uh, celery puree. Yeah. Vanilla. vanilla. Oh my God, was that good? You know, it seems like because of that, it has that almost honey-like quality yeah, yeah, at the yeah. end. So it would lend itself to some desserts. Yeah. But if you did some, maybe some duck, you know, instead of maple, maybe it had a, a honey quality to sure. it. So maybe some Asian food mm -hmm. yeah. pick up nicely on this. But I, I think this just on its own. There you go. I mean, talk about depth of flavor. It's right. like 12 oh. feet thick. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't need a whole lot. All right. And uh, the next beer coming up that we're going to pour, I have a very special memory. I hope Paul does. Um, we, were, we were actually invited to go to Fort Bragg. Um, California to do a beer dinner that's coming up uh, with this really really great brewery called North Coast. Um, when we were there, we were we were you know drinking this beer, which is Lamerle, which is their saison, which is I think one of my favorites. A saison is a style of beer that comes from Wallonia, which is uh, southern Belgium. It's an agrarian region, so they farm. So the the farmers, you know, they needed something to low alcohol to quash quaff their thirst. So every house, it would be like a part like doing the laundry. You you make beer. So the beer would be low alcohol, very drinkable, um, and very refreshing. So it's loosely based on a saison, but uh, it is magic. It really it's, with these oysters. It's elegant. It has great, you know, shape and, and structure to it. Did you get one of these guys? You, you go first. No, come I'm, on, I had one. I'm, I'm oh, here. look at that. He's good. We're good. He's yeah, good. So you've done this before. Oh uh, yeah, I do. You it know, if your current job doesn't work out, you might look into cooking. Uh, right, like beer drinking's pretty good, but you got some skills. You know, after a hard, stressful day, I like working at Oyster Station because it's just mindless work. It's it's beautiful. I enjoy it. Oh, the intense salinic quality of the oyster is just completely washed away with the beer. But then you get a little rise of the oyster back. It's just like a, an afterthought. Right, at, right. You started saying it as it was happening. Yeah. Right? And we're doing um, we're hopefully gonna do this. We're doing a loose interpretation of this this kind of setup, uh, but. Like bergamot, lime, and uh -huh. what else? All right, it's gonna think about that. We're gonna add a little. You know, what bergamot is like Earl Grey. Just the the, the dried like a lime tea. Uh, it's actually the actual dried dried lime that you really. Just, we're just gonna grate on top of the oyster. Nice, perfect. Yeah. And so this next one is also from California. And funny enough, on our way to visit these guys, we stopped through the town where this beer is made, which is Lagunitas. You know, it's just work, work, work with you guys. It's so hard. You know. I have to say, constant pushing, you know, <laughs> every willing six to go that extra mile for the cause, taking one for the team, that's yeah. awesome. We stopped and visited a friend in uh, San Francisco, and um, our attitudes were really nicely adjusted for the rest of the trip. <laughs> so, this is. I, I have no idea where you're going with <laughs> I don't that, know. Paul. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Now, the he aromatics was. of this are tremendous. And, uh, tremendous. So, this is a little something wild. 
which uh, is is based on another beer they had, Little Something Something. Uh, so it's a it's a. What does that smell like, Tim Tom? <laughs> you know, it, it <laughs> smells like my brother's closet. <laughs> what does your brother do? Uh, he's retired now. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so you have a high high energy bill. You know, at his house. He, uh, <laughs> let's let's take it away from him and put it on myself. <laughs> okay. This is a smell that I've had in the back of many of my favorite kitchens, with many wineries. Uh, with people who I know and love, and uh, but it, it takes me to like Jamaica, Amsterdam. Absolutely. I, I'm not quite. I can't place it specifically, but there's this tropical lovely, fruitiness. Yes, lovely. lovely. It's, it's like I feel more relaxed already. Grab, grab, a, hop, grab a little bud of hop back there and rub, rub that in your fingers and smell that. These are from right. my garden. With break but a little bit in the little center. Bit, you'll see. Bit. Yeah. It's a close relative of uh, something else. I just can't else, place sure it. What, I can't but. place it. But. <laughs> But intriguing. We digress. Yes. Uh, all right. All right, guys. Last guy. Last guy. This has been awesome. A power tasting. Oh my god. I was gonna actually work tonight. Well, you, can, you just come hang with us, all right? Oh. And we'll go see if we can find that guy three taps back. You know, we uh, we got a Michelin star. And I think I'm gonna just carry the celebration on. All right. Well, we're gonna go drink some champagne next. So if you'd like to join us, there you go. It would be our pleasure. All right, so this last guy is Le Grand Blanche, which we Le love. Le Grand Blanche? Yes, it really? means the great Listen, white. Yes. And cheers. You guys, yes. thanks for rocking it out. Cheers. Awesome. I appreciate you taking the time. That was an extraordinary tasting. So tell me what I have here, Le Grand Blanche. Le Grand Blanche means great white. It's from a very interesting brewery in Northern Flanders. This is Le Grand Blanche. I believe it. And it's, uh, it's a strong white beer, so a little out of cake style. Cake variants. Cake variants. Cake variants. Um, brewed with uh, coriander and orange peel. Lovely. Lovely. Well, Awesome. If, if people are looking to really understand beer, right, and to see it with all the perfect accoutrement, right, this is a place to come, right? I hope so. You guys take this very seriously. What I love is the sense of joy that you bring to it, <laughs> right? I mean, this clearly is a labor of love. We seem like a couple of clowns, but we're really serious about what we do. You are, you are serious about everything you do, and being serious doesn't mean that you can't have fun doing it, right? So, you know, what I, what I see, what I feel is the passion, the heart, you know, the love that you put into this. And it, you know, when I when I hear about people like I went to the publican, but no one ever says I was a publican last night, right? There's always this long story of what they experience and what you guys are doing. So, cheers. Yippee. Way cheers. to rock it out. Cheers. Thank you.